Is America about to have a civil war? Now, with all this loose talk about a national divorce and a civil war, and while the situation in Texas is concerning, America's been through a civil war before. And as a historian, I like to look at the historical data, if you will. I'm not making any predictions here, but as the age old sayings go, that there is nothing new under the sun and that my personal favorite, history doesn't repeat itself, but it does often rhyme. So let's look at history in rhyme here. And while there are growing calls for Texit or Texas seceding from the Union, which would be very difficult, it would have to be a totally different video as Texas came in as a state after the Civil War, and there's some legal things regarding that. Um, this reminds me of a totally different incident that many of you probably have no idea happened in our nation's history. And if history is repeating its health here, or at least rhyming, I would say that we are at the nullification crisis part of this pattern. What was the nullification crisis? Well, it happened in 1832, and it was between the federal government and the state of South Carolina. It was driven by the vice president or former vice president, John C. Calhoun of South Carolina, who opposed the federal imposition of tariffs in 1828 and argued that the United States Constitution gave states the right to block the enforcement of a federal law, essentially nullifying any federal laws against them. In November, South Carolina adopted the Ordinance of Nullification, declaring the tariffs null, void, and non-binding in the state. Well, the president at the time, Andrew Jackson, said, yeah, right. And he responded by issuing a proclamation that asserted the supremacy of the federal government. Congress then passed the Force Act, which allowed the president to send federal troops to occupy Charleston, while simultaneously publicly saying he wanted to hang Calhoun and anyone that was uh, working with him. Luckily, though, cooler heads would prevail, and Senator Henry Clay would come up with a compromise that would cool the tension within the country and avoiding a civil war. Now, America would not have an actual civil war for 30 more years. And while the nullification crisis was avoided and, you know, we did not have a civil war at that time, it did lead to an increase in sectionalism and sectional differences between the states. And though the Civil War in the 1860s was, it was about slavery, it was also a larger question of state sovereignty and state rights and what the states could and could not do and what the federal government could and could not do. Let me know y'all's thoughts in the comments. Am I off base or do you see something more to this or maybe nothing at all? Let me know. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and ring that bell so that you can get notified anytime I upload a new video. Bye.